YouTubers, welcome back to Allotment Diggers. Well, today we're going to start making the, the front part of the plot more pretty, more beautiful. We're going to really, really get stuck in. Um, a few days ago, we we hit the first bed with the the strawberries in. It was a nightmare. There was all sorts of there was flowers in the bed, literally flowers. What we didn't want in the bed, but there was. So anyway, you're going to see me stripping them all out. You're going to see me um, clearing some of the... We, we, the problem is, um, where I was working, there was a lot of foliage hanging over in the past, so we had to cut a lot of the stuff out, which will be cut out eventually on the... everywhere in the beds. It'll all be cut right back, but um, you're going to see me now um, doing the strawberry bed. We're going to speed the camera up, bit of music, show you what it looked like before, and this is what it looks like. Well, you're going to see what it looks like at the end, so... Let's run the clip and show you what we've been doing. Well today um, I'm going to be clearing this strawberry bed. We're going to be taking all the, the gladiolas from down the sides and at the back. Um, I've been told there's a lot, well, I don't think the violas, but there's a lot of these um, greener plants here, the violas. It's all been sold. They're all getting chucked in a bucket, wheelbarrowed off. Um, so the only thing that's going to be left in here are the strawberries. There's a lot of little weeds in here. We're going to try and get them all out. Um, I'm not too sure where I'm going to start, I might start here, I might start here, I might start at the back or at this side but you're going to see me stamping all over the bloody place but eventually you'll, you'll slowly see the uh, the bed start to tidy up however, um, the other bed on this side, I'm going to be also taking all these sedum out and these um, yellow flag irises, cutting them all right back to the base so you might not see me in the picture all the time here but you know, I'll be working on this side as well. The the camera can't. I've not got a wide-angled uh, lens on this camera, unfortunately. If you had my GoPro, you could see me doing all of it. You, could, you know, it, I could bring the camera further back, but uh, where it is there, uh, it's, it, it's you know, it's comfortable. Anyway, let's have at it. No time like the the present. <laughs> Tidied the strawberry bed up as you can see, it's looking a damn sight better. Uh, we've got there's, there's four rows in here, there's two here, obviously, and two there, and then around the borders, but also down the around the these borders here are a load of gladiolas. So, anyway, the gladiolas are gone. We got rid of all them, what's supposed to be violas, if they were violas, I don't know, but we've ripped them all out. Uh, done a lot of tons of weeding. There's one or two more, there's probably a couple of weeds there that I've missed. But when they pop the rear, when they rear their ugly heads, we'll have them out. But um, the 99% of the weeds are out of there now. So this will tick over through the winter. And um, this is, this is um, a bed what needed to be done. I, I will be doing, having another strawberry bed. Um, well, you've got the one in front there. That'll be another bed that I've got to clear. I've got to clear all the foliage in there. The only thing what's going to be left, what you'll be able to see in there, will be the the raspberry canes and the um, the currant bushes. There's five currant bushes. Everything else will be taken out. 
I get in there, took all the weeds out, and I'm going to throw a load of horse manure in there, uh, top that bed up, and then we've got this bed here. Uh, we've got to be working on this. 90% of the stuff will be coming out of here, except for the, obviously the bushes. And the, the final one will be the bed over there. Well, actually, not the final one, but all that, that one over there, all the current bushes and everything's coming out of that. And then we've got this last bed here. So I've got four more beds to, to have that. Oh, and uh, the planter, the other side at Greenhouse. Where, but, where Buttercup is there, see her fast asleep inside. So she's sparked out. And she's kept at me way while I've done all this. But uh, yeah, anyway, jobs are good. And, uh, we're going to move on. I'll probably put this in with another video of doing one of the other beds. Well, that was fun, I tell you. Bloody knees nearly killed me doing that, but uh, it's all cleared up. It's all clear. Um, there's, I think there's, there's about 40 strawberries in there, if I'm not mistaken. We will be doing another strawberry bed um, very shortly. That's where all the current bushes are. They've all got to come out yet. We've, we've not got round to that. You'll be seeing them in the video. I'll be talking about them in the video. But um, yeah, that that we just finished doing the wood, um, doing the, the the strawberries when. Um, the wood chip guy, um, Aaron, turned up and he dropped a load of wood chip at the top of the allotment so it was really good stuff. So anyway, I went up there, got um, six big bags, big bloody big bags full of it, piled it up on my plot ready for the next day. Uh, anyway, we had a plan, so the very next day we come down and um, we, we we got stuck into the paths now there was a lot of foliage falling all over on some of the paths we had to clean it all out and then we had to put the wood chip down we did underneath all the trees underneath the orchard we got a, 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 um, a welcome surprise underneath the orchard you'll see that in the video um, the only thing you don't see is me actually doing this bit just where, where we sat now like an idiot I didn't have a camera turned on did I but you're gonna see it in the video uh, Buttercup kept out of the way, she's still in, she, she loves that bed what um, Tony gave her, she's crashed out in it here as we speak. Which gives me um, gives me time to do my video, so I'm not complaining. Anyway, um, we, we, we do, you know, do all the paths underneath the orchard, and you're going to see me topping all the planters up as well. Um, what, uh, run along the, the spine of the orchard. We've got tulips and daffodils actually coming up in them planters, but um, I'm going I'm to put more compost on top and right up, and um, you're going to see all this right now, so let's show you what we've been doing. Speed it up in parts, slow it down in others. So here it comes, guys. Well, guys, we've been here an hour, and I've done nothing yet. Um, however, I had the camera, and I didn't turn it on to show me doing this wood chip here. We got a load of wood chip yesterday to do the front part of the plot. Cause now we're going to start making it look beautiful again. You see in this bed, we cleared this bed. However, you didn't see this bed, uh, but you have seen the bed. Cause I've just thrown it in the clip. But today we're uh, at the start of the video showing you me doing that. But uh, today, uh, in these these three bags underneath there, and that's full of wood chip. There's another three bags over there, so I've got enough to do the, the paths on my plot. Um, so what we're going to do in a moment, we're going to take all the sedum and everything what's hanging over the past, take it all out. We're going to leave the beds, because we're going to come back to them and do them individually, but what we're going to do is um, put wood chip down the paths. We get all the paths in with wood chip, all this stuff here, what's like underneath here. We get all that done and then we'll concentrate on the beds then. Um, I can kneel down then, so I'm not getting my, my knees full of dirt, and uh, well that's the plan. It's going to be difficult setting the camera up here to show you me doing any of the work, because I'm going to have to take all these, seed them out on this path here, up the further up, and all the, the stuff what's hanging over, all that's got to come out, so um, you can see how it is there at the moment. We will come back to this, let's come down here. So this is a problem, it's all hanging over the past, so all the sedum's coming out. Everything what hangs over, it's all being taken out. We're just going to leave the beds, I mean the dahlias. I will come back to the dahlias. But what we've got to do is all the paths, we've got to do all the paths with the, the wood chip. All along here. 
So I'm just showing you now what it looks like. And um, when we come back, you're going to see it looking beautiful. It's uh, going to be a nightmare to get the wheelbarrow, the camera, and me in shot. So I thought I'd just record this, show you what it looks like now, and then we'll show you what it looks like in a moment. So this is what it looks like now, guys. You're having a laugh, aren't you? I needed that wheelbarrow. Unbelievable, isn't she? She looks comfortable there, so anyway, I've leave, leave her to sit on a wheelbarrow. I have actually got a new one just there, ready to go. Anyway, let's move down here. Because what I'm doing now, I'm uh, going to cut myself a channel. Let's just get this tripod sorted out. Lift it up a bit. I'm going to get in there and create a, a path all the way through because what I'm going to do is wood chip the path so all the sedums coming out either side and all the anything what's hanging over the paths is coming out and then we're going to uh, wood chip it all and make it look beautiful so might, you only, might only just see me back here but you'll see as we're moving along we're, we're going to be filling the balloon, filling the wheelbarrow up. So here we go, guys. We're going in. We're going in. This is me a still be by the way. Just take that bit back off. It's a beautiful, beautiful plant this. There's one on this side and one on here. This these will be left in this plot. When all this lot all comes out here. When all this lot comes out. The only plant which will remain in here will be this and maybe a few daffodils down the, the edges but everything else is coming out so I've cleared pretty much this bit here so I'm going to get some wood chip now and get them on the paths and beautify this and then we'll move further down and continue doing the other side until we've got all the paths clear and the wood chip on them. So, and get rid of this. There's, there's a couple of bags of, uh, well, there's three bags of um, wood chip there. There's my shovel. As you can see, we're going to be doing the paths now. I've cleared all the, the foliage from the edges. What I will do though, um, once I've done all the paths and cleared it and put the wood chip down, I will be then focusing on the beds. We've already done this one as you see, so probably an inch of wood chip all the way along here. Um, I do need to prune this back here, so I'll probably do a bit more pruning. I'll get the wood chip here. We've done all this up the back here as well, over this side. So we're going to wood chip it all now. And uh, I'm going to set the camera, put the camera here. I'll show you me doing a bit of this. Um, I know. When, I'll show you probably do this this row here, speed the camera up. I'm going to have to move that bucket to one side so I can do that as well. Uh, that path. And then uh, we, we'll come back when it's all done. So this is going to be fun, um, getting that wood chip out of there. We might be able to shovel it from here for some of it onto here and then we might be able to drag it down. I don't know what we're going to do. We wait, we baited breath, eh? 
let's crack on. Oh, I've just moved that bucket so I can get the wood chip down the path, so yeah, <laughs> here we go. We'll see how this goes, but um, it's going to take a bit. the path's done. I put the plant about where it was. There's about an inch of wood chip there. Uh, what, it, what we do, we put an inch on every every four months, five months, and um, it compresses down when I walk on it and it stops the weeds from coming through. There's no membrane. Everyone asks me, do you put membrane underneath there, Mark? No, there's no membrane. We just keep building it up. And uh, yeah, I've got what you see here all the way up here and across there we've got to do on this next one next well, I'm not going to bore you to death and once I've got it all done and all, all tidied up I'll show you just where we are with it and then we we can get on with cleaning the beds by the way guys if you're wondering where Buttercup is I can say there she is fast asleep in a box keeping out the way while I do it all now if I told you I told her to go in there, <laughs> you won't believe me, but she did. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I've managed to get this done so far. So onwards and upwards, I've got two more bags here, and I've got another three bags over the other side. So I've got plenty, plenty of material to, to do the front part of the plot in a good layer of wood chip. And uh, so far, so good. It's starting to look nicer. Like I say we've we've already beautified this front piece here, uh, cleared all the, the the strawberries. Next bed is the dahlia bed, so we'll be in there shortly when I've done all that as well. But at the moment I'm still doing the wood chip, so let's uh, not jump too far ahead. Let's crack on. See you in a bit. Right, I've been pruning me um my rosemary back there. On this, on this path. There is still some hanging over the path but that's neither near or there that I can get the wood chip underneath it so I'm not mithered and I can walk past it and when you walk past it with your pants it covers your pants in beautiful rosemary so uh, yeah that's one of the reasons why it's still there because as I'm passing like I say it brushes off and it smells lovely but uh, I'm just going to wood chip this path now um, I've got a load more, got three more bags on the other side. I'm on my second bag here, and I've nearly, I've nearly half completed it, so I'm, I'm doing pretty good. We'll get in there, so onwards and upwards. Yeah, put a good, good layer in. Say a couple of inches never hurt anyone. <laughs> Unless it's a big needle.
Job so good. Nice job, guys. Is um, underneath these trees here. We're going to scrape all the leaves out. We're going to clear all this um, golden oligarno and mint. We're going to cut it right back. We can clear, take all the weeds out the the planters here. Then we're going to top dress it with wood chips. So that's where we're at at the moment. We're not touching the planters on the tables. We're not touching the bed here. We're just concentrating on this bit here. And then we're going to have to do the same on the opposite side, underneath the trees there, because we've got a load of um, snowdrops that come underneath there. So we need to get them all out before we actually uh, get all of the, the, the leaves and everything up. Although there's still a lot of leaves on here, but it's easy to pick the leaves up from from clean wood chip like that, and it is to get you down on your hands and knees there. Because I'm going to get covered in muck anyway doing this, but you know, it's one of them things that's gardening for you. So we'll start here, trim this up, and then we'll you know we'll, we'll go up there and pull all the, all the, the leaves back, clear the planters and um, then we'll take it from there well, it smells lovely that, I've got to bag some of that up Kidding you guys, I smell like a bloody herb garden here. I smell a rosemary mint and um and the golden oregano at the moment. Well, we've uh, scraped most of it. You could, don't know if you can see in the planters now, you can see the actual bulbs coming through here. So 
I'm going to add some more compost into there, top them right up to the top. However, I've got to do a bit more cleaning up in underneath there. Uh, once I've done that, I spread the wood chip and uh, we'll come right back. This side's all done, all underneath the trees. There's about three inches all the way across there. I've just got the other side underneath the orchard. There's a load of apples, fallen apples in there. I'm gonna be taking them out. And if any other apples fall, they're just gonna fall bounce on the ground and they'll be okay. They won't get damaged as much as they normally would do. And uh, once we've done that other side, that's it, all front part of the plot. has all been top dressed with wood chip. Um, I'm gonna shove that in the compost bin now and uh, put my tools away well, like I said, it might, it might, it might even we've got we've well, got the wind power in a bit, we might just finish the the other side off so watch this space well guys, we've got a, we've just caught this in time the snowdrops are just starting to come up here now so we get this out all this And, and give them a good, I mean, just collecting a, a decent apples, all the dodgy ones, we're getting rid of. They should be okay these, because they must have fallen in the night. Yep. Yeah, we'll, we'll show you these, what are just starting to come up now, we just caught them in time. Um, I would have left them another week, and I tried to do what I'm doing now, probably kill half my bloody um, snowdrops, but I've got dead lucky. So I'm going to throw a load of wood chip over the top of them, and um, before the Christmas, they're going to be about an inch or two, well, be two or three inches high, maybe even more, because some of them are a good half inch out of the ground now. Anyway, just let me clear these leaves away and I'll show them you. Absolutely awesome. Bit early though. Well, we dodged a bullet. Um, I just noticed some the snowdrops are just starting to come up. I scan over there. You can just see the snowdrops coming up there. They're just starting to break through now, underneath here. And um, in a few few months' time, they'll all be breaking through. So, yeah, I've dodged a bullet here, really. I'm just going to go in now, throw the wood chip on here willy-nilly all over. It's not, doesn't have to go deep. An inch, you can cover these um, snowdrops by an inch, two inches. They'll come through quite well, you know. Um, and uh, they produce beautiful snowdrops. But yeah, we, we, we definitely dodged the bullet. I've got to be careful where I'm stepping here because they're all over here as well. But they're not just they're not coming up here at the moment because they're not as sheltered. So I've got a big bag of wood chip to go under now. We've got the we've got the the windfalls. Uh, don't know what I'm going to do with them. If one I've done underneath here in a minute and Yvonne's still on, I see if she wants to take them for the food bank. Other than that, 
um, we'll give them to some other person who comes strolling along. Right, let's get the wood chip underneath here, and um, then, then the, the, the front part of the plot, all the, the wood chip, new wood chip's done. Could leave it like that, you know, but I don't never like to see it like that. I like to see nice and shiny. And uh, when I'm getting on my hands and knees, I don't want to get covered in muck. After today, I won't be getting covered in muck on the front part of the plot. Oh, well, there are all the leaves. They're going in the compost bin. So, uh, yeah, we're, 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 we're cracking on. Like I say, all the, all the front down here is all done now. It's just this bit here. This is the last bit, so let's have at it. And we'll come back when it's all done. I said the camera's going to go really, really funny because, um, yeah, it's this wood chip. <laughs> it plays out with the, the, the focal point because it's trying to um, focus on a billion little bits of wood chip. But underneath all the trees now, it's got a beautiful layer of wood chip. Underneath that wood chip, all the um, snowdrops are coming up. If you look in the planters, all the flowers in the planters are starting to come up now. So what I've got to do... I get some compost, go in there, top dress them right up to the top of the, the planter, all the way down the other end over there, um, and then the, the planters underneath the trees, everything's prepared for winter. I was thinking of taking this um, little Cox's orange out, because it's right in the bloody way and it's, it's, it's just... It's, it, I get fruit off it, but, but it's getting hammered by, obviously, for the uh, Bramley here. But I still get fruit off it. Look at this one here. Yeah, it's another one. So I, might, I, I may take it out. I don't know yet. And what I might do is put um, a deck chair underneath here so I can sit here. Although, again, I'll be looking straight at um, Paul, so I don't think that'll be too... I might put it that way. So I, I don't want him to think of bloody spying on him. That's the last thing he wants. I, mean, I wouldn't like some bugger watching everything I do, so I'll probably put the um, that that chair along there eventually. It'll um, then I can you know sit underneath the trees in the shade. But that's all next year. But uh, like I say, we've done underneath the trees now, as you see. Well, it's bloody hard um, getting all this prepared. I, I, I've got to tell you, I'm probably suffer now for the next two weeks, but it's, I think it's well worth it. And uh, yeah, we got very fortunate with them snowdrops underneath all this lot here. But I assure you, they will come through very shortly. They was already coming through when um, when they started to remove the, the 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 leaves, the fallen leaves, and they will be more fallen leaves. But it'd be easy to um, to sort out. I've got a a very fine rake, like a grass, a leaf rake, and uh, it won't cause no damage to the, the snowdrops if they do poke through before the, the leaves have all fallen. But um, the chances of that are very slim, slender to slim. Right, anyway, let's move on. I say, all done. Need to pitch the rest of these apples Just about to start to top these uh, buckets up and I just heard my mate Bob just come on with his uh, tractor he's bringing another load of uh, horse manure on so I'm just going to head over there now and have a quick word with him and we'll be back, we'll, we'll get this all covered over in a minute throw my gloves down there, we don't need them for now just had some brand spanking new wheels put on that hold on, it's still Another load of horse manure. 
I'm gonna swing it in here. This is um, from the um, vet, all the bedding off the uh, guinea pigs and rabbits and what have you there. This stuff, this is awesome. They make short work of it. He's got to undo the uh, undo the bar first, so I'll come back when he's when it's ready for tipping. All right. Got his um, four grand spanking shiny new wheels there. Cost him two grand for all four of them, as you're just saying. So here we go, guys. Going to tip it up now, and here's me with a bad chest, and I'm going to get absolutely choked with all the. Uh, the, the, the steam that comes out of this when he takes it. But just for the, just to show you, here we go, here it comes out. He's been doing this for years. Yeah, give it a little shake like that, there we go. Oh. This stuff here is um, bedding from um, guinea pigs and rabbits. The, the vet drops this off. And like I say, Bob there he drops all the horsemen in your office. This is the, the second load today he's dropped off. He's having a bit of a problem. Someone parked the bloody van there just in, just in front here, unfortunately. Anyway, he's heading off. I'm going to shut the gates. There you go. Should keep the natives happy for a while. Oh, get my gloves back. And uh, get these these um, planters filled up with this um, compost.
Well, there we go. Just give them a, a topping up. And uh, there's a few sticking through here and a few up there, but we just covered them over. They'll come good again. But before they come up, we'll be in the bed. They've got to come in this bed and clear it all out shortly. I've got to do the same on the other side. And then we've um, we've top dressed all the the planters in the just underneath the orchard. What are you doing there, eh? Wow! What are you doing? Come in here. Hey? What are you doing? Hello? Hey? What are you doing? Hey? Look who's turned up. Your breakfast is over there, you know? Hey? Get your head out of the bucket. Look, if you're going to give a friend a paw, go and get your breakfast, it's over there. Get your foot off my bloody plot, eh? Get your foot out of there. What? Eh? What? Your dinner is in the greenhouse. Go and get it. Eh? Well... What can you guys? That's me finished. I've got to get a buttercup some breakfast now. She's whining. It's in the greenhouse, girl. Go on. Yes. You tell me that cat don't know what I'm saying. But, uh, yeah. Done. Be right back. So yeah, that's what we've been doing. Um, as you saw at the end there, it's looking pretty good now. The only thing what we've got to address is uh, four of the beds and um, the, the the raised plants are here. Once that's all done, um, the, the front of the, the plot will be almost ready for, for winter. Obviously there's the, the painting of the furniture and the painting of the shed. That all needs to be done, cleaning the greenhouses, but that's a winter job for me to do, something for me to do in the winter. Um, and again, we've got to prune all the, the trees at the back of us here, they've all got to be pruned, that's another job. Um, we still still haven't got them elephant garlic in. I'm not worried, I know I can get them in by the middle of this month, and everything could be fine. So uh, anyway, that's what we've been doing. Um, I've just got myself some onions from the back shed here. Some nice onions. We'll take them home. She said, we got no onions, bring us some onions. So anyway, I've got tons of them. So I've got a big bag here for her. That should keep her happy. Um, anyway, I'm gonna get out of here now. If I can get the video up later on tonight, I will do. Um, so there we go. 
I've talked long enough, and I've definitely talked long enough. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you're all staying safe. I feel for you on this lockdown if you haven't got an allotment. I really do. Best place to be in the fresh air on your own. Can't beat it. Well, I'm not on my own. I've got a buttercup here in, in the greenhouse. Drinking out of a bloody watering can. Let's swing the camera around and show her. I don't know if you can see her there. There she is. Drinking out of a watering can. She just got out of her bed and now she's having a drink. At least she's kept out of the way while I've done the video. <laughs> anyway, from me and Buttercup, thanks for watching guys. Goodbye for now.